in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Is it true that Muslim, some Muslim scholars have allowed human evolution? Yes, there's a handful, I think two or three in our times, uh, uh, that have basically interpreted the Quranic story as being uh, metaphorical or whatnot. But frankly, none of these scholars are specialists in the Quran and in theology. They are activists is more of a proper term. They're not mufassirun or ulama of aqidah. They're not people who really understand the purpose of revelation. Because what I'm, why I'm saying this is that when you understand the repercussion of saying, oh, this is just a fable. This is exactly what Allah says, non-Muslims say about our book, in hada illa asatirul awwaleen. These are simply stories of the old. There's hardly any reputable scholar. I think there's one or two in the 70s or 80s, Abdul Shahu, Abdul Shahu. Abdul Sabur Shaheen or somebody, uh, one or two, uh, who basically allowed for the theory of evolution. But, and here's the key point, none of them, none of them was able to go through the Quran verse by verse and explain how would they reconcile this with the Quran. You really cannot because the sheer diversity of adjectives and verbs and nouns when it comes to Adam and the creation of Adam. The sheer diversity of how explicitly Allah ex describes Adam. Really, you have no way of reinterpreting every single adjective and noun. You know, I call this in one of my talks, I call this uh, uh, hermeneutical gymnastics. It's a fancy term for basically saying, you're just forcing your interpretation onto the Quran. No matter what the Quran says, you don't care, you're gonna shove it down the Quran's throat. That's not the way of the Muslim. The Muslim is, what does the Quran wanna tell me? Right? And anybody who approaches the Quran with an open mind can never ever go away with the theory that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, allowed Adam to come from other species. So in my humble opinion, it is simply not possible to reconcile the claim that Adam had ancestors with a clear reading of the Quran. You just can't reconcile the two. If you believe Adam had ancestors, then really, and this is why I'm saying this is one of the biggest crises of our times. If you believe that Adam has an, had ancestors, then you will have to do something with the Quran. Either not believe in it, and I have met many Muslims who have left Islam because of the theory of evolution. I have met them. You know? Or you say exactly what the kuffar said about the Quran. These are mere fables, and Allah didn't want us to believe in them. As if they know better than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then the next stage, of course, as I said, is to reinterpret everything, which is even Allah and the angels and the existence of heaven and hell. If you're going to open this door, right, then nothing is sacred in the Quran. Think about that. We have always held the Quran at face value. That's what makes us Muslims. We have always taken this explicit wording of the Quran. To open this door is opening the door for complete deviation and heresy. And I am not going to go down that path, inshaAllah ta'ala.